One day, you may need to SSH into one of your SkyMiner boards. All this means is that you're communicating with and modifying that board directly and securely. SSH stands for Secure Shell, and it uses encryption to communicate securely over an insecure network. There's a few things we'll need before we start. You'll need to know the IP address of your SkyMiner, and if you don't know what that is, you can connect to your home internet router and check the list of connected devices, which are all assigned IP addresses by your network, and look for the one called MyApp. That address will be the one you need to connect to via SSH. Mine is 192.168.1.3, so I'll make a note of that. If there's a particular board on your SkyMiner that you need to SSH into, you can find out the IP address of that specific board using your hypervisor UI. Click into the dashboard of the visor you want, click Terminal in the menu, and then Full Terminal, which should launch a new window or tab. In the command line that appears, just type ifconfig, and from the displayed results, you can find that visor's IP address. In my case here, it's 192.168.0.4. Make a note of that too. And now it's time to SSH. We'll start with the SkyMiner Manager board first, and then from there to the specific visor we're looking for. You'll need a command line program like PuTTY on Windows, or on a Mac you can fire up the Terminal app from your Utilities folder. All you need to do is type SSH, root, at, and then the IP address assigned to your SkyMiner. It's possible if you've updated your SkyMiner, or if you've ever connected to the SkyMiner via SSH before, you could get a message like this, that the remote host identification has changed. It's a common enough occurrence that I'll talk about the fix for it, because it's relatively simple. Again, if you don't see this kind of message, you can skip ahead. But if you do get this message, make a note of where the offending key is located. Here, it's in a file called Known Hosts on line 30, and this is the directory to find that file. And you can also find it right from your terminal with a few simple commands. But I'll just use the normal OS file system to get there. Once I navigate to that known hosts file, I can open it in a text editor and scroll down until I find the offending line, the one that pertains to the IP address I'm trying to SSH to. All you need to do is manually delete this line, save the document, and quit the program. Then you can go back to your terminal and try again. So if you don't get that warning when you try to SSH, then this will be what you see when you enter the SSH command. You'll be asked if you want to continue connecting, just type yes, and this will add your SkyMiner to the list of known hosts. It will ask for a password, and note that as you type the cursor may not move, but rest assured your password is being entered. And the password should be Skybian. Hit enter, and you've successfully SSH to your SkyMiner. You should see a command line prompt to that effect, in this case, root at orange pi prime. So from here, you just need to enter the SSH command for the particular board, the IP address for which you found using the ifconfig command in the visor terminal. It's the same format as before, SSH root at 192.168.0.4 in my case. Then hit enter and type in yes again. And that's basically all you need to know to SSH into a specific visor board. But I'll walk you through what making a change looks like, though your reasons for SSHing into your SkyMiner may be different than mine. In my case, I'm wanting to change the port that is used for SkyChat. It's currently 8000 and I want to change it to 8001. So I'm going to enter this command nano slash etc slash skywire dash visor.json, which will take me to a screen and menu like this. So to do what I need to do, I'll want to move the cursor down until I find SkyChat under Apps. Then I can move the cursor over and simply change the 8000 to 8001. And that's the only change I need to make, so I can hit Control X to exit, type Yes to save, and then enter the reboot command to reboot that visor with the new change. And from there, I would just type exit to end the session. And that's how you SSH into your SkyMiner. Remember, you can always come to Telegram for help if you get stuck or have any questions. Good luck.